what is up guys welcome back to Dan Reviews today we have a very very interesting topic that I know a lot of people wanted to see uh, for a video and that is a video talking about do I think that we will end up seeing Negan kill Daryl and just well, what's gonna happen since Daryl has been captured uh, in the season 7 Walking Dead premiere so uh, yeah, spoiler warning if you've not seen the premiere, but I know I just kind of said a spoiler there, but it, it's the premiere's been out for days now. I think everybody has gotten a chance to see the Walking Dead season seven premiere. So, um, just an absolutely uh, just crazy, and also um, I don't know, just the way they uh, they 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 captured him, right? Uh, it it, it Negan was the one to say, load him up, you know, load, load him up. Why did he pick Daryl? And, and that that's the interesting part. Why did he pick Daryl? I think the reason why, honestly, is because he knows that he is one of the toughest members of the group that he didn't take out, that he didn't kill. And I think for that, he doesn't want Rick to have any tough people. I, I think that's all it is. Because... What else is it? You know, like maybe Dwight has told Negan about what he's been trying to do to Dwight. Maybe that, yeah, that could be another good uh, reason. And I love it. He's like, um, you know, load him up. And he's like, uh, the heck's his name? And he's like, uh, Daryl. Wow, that actually sounds right, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I found that was kind of interesting. Um, also, oh, uh, wait, pause for a minute. Look at this. Uh, the Walking Dead Rick Grimes Sheriff's Hat. Really cool right there in the uh, display. And there's my Lucille right there. Really sick. Uh, and I got the Walking Dead Season 6 and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show that off too. Uh, but anyway, yeah, back to the topic. Um, it's just, he uh, most likely Dwight told him about what happened uh, with Daryl. And also because Negan knows that Daryl is one of the most tough characters from the group. Um, and for that, he doesn't want Rick to have any good advantages, you know. Uh, and I, he fe he probably feels like having Daryl is maybe not necessarily means they're going to win. But it does necessarily, if he kills Daryl, he will uh, have a even bigger advantage against Rick. I mean, they already do. They already have won against Rick's group for now. But... He wants to make sure that he's got Rick in a um, position where he can't do anything. And he knows that by taking Daryl, that will work. And uh, I think that's the only reason why they did it. Honestly, I think that's the only reason. So, uh, now what are, what are they going to do with him? Obviously this week, uh, tomorrow, is uh, episode 2. Really, really excited. And uh, Monday we will do the review and the predictions. Uh, but... I don't think we're going to see any of our main core characters aside from Morgan and Carol. I think that the entire episode 2 will be about the kingdom. There is a link that is in the description because there is a brand new promo for next week. And it's just for next week's episode specifically. Uh, right? And it shows just scenes with the kingdom. It has a lot of brand new scenes. Uh, where um, I'll probably do a whole video on the uh, on the trailer. So I'll put the link in the description for it. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's on uh, TWD Network. Um, so uh, really, really cool. Uh, I'll put the link here in the uh, description. I'm looking at it right now on my computer. Uh, yeah, li yeah, link in the uh, description for it. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's really cool that... When you get to see, uh, you know, uh, Daryl, he, when he is in trouble, you care. I think the reason why they, uh, you know, captured him is because of the reasons I just said. Um, and also because Negan, um, let's say, okay, let's say he'd let Daryl free. He, he wouldn't have taken him. He would have taken somebody else. Uh, let's say he took Eugene. If he took Eugene... I don't think fans would really care as much. I mean, a lot of people like Eugene, but you know what I mean? Like, it, he's not a, as much of a fan favorite as Daryl Dixon. See what I'm saying? Like, it, because, like, 
fans actually do care what happens to Daryl. Uh, not as if, if we wouldn't care about Eugene, but I'm just saying they would care more because he's basically our second main character. And we just lost, like, basically our third main character from the TV show. So, it just, it works. It really works. Um, <coughs> and I also, uh, I can't guarantee it exactly because uh, we're going to do a little predictions video. But I heard that there's going to be Negan in the second episode of some kind. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how, but they said he will be in there. There was, uh, there was a theory that he was in episode two, but just for a little bit of time. Just for apparently two or three minutes. So, um, I don't know what it would be. Uh, would it be anything important? I'd assume so. So uh, maybe he meets Morgan. He's like, "Oh, you're uh, you're a dude from Alexandria," and then he tells him about what he did to Glenn and Abraham. That would be a cool ending for episode two if Morgan and Carol found out what happened to Rick Screw that night. That would be amazing. I, I actually want to see that happen and have that be like the cliffhanger of episode two. I actually do think that's what the cliffhanger will be. So what are they going to do with Daryl? Are they going to torture him? Are they going to cut off his hand? People have all these different kind of theories. Uh, personally, I don't think they're going to do much to him. They might uh, keep him, yeah. But I don't feel like they're going to torture him or anything. I just feel like they're going to keep him. And maybe act hard on him. You know, act tough around him. You know, uh, and uh, kind of wait to see when the right moment is to give him back. If they even plan on doing that. Because Daryl might have to escape himself. And uh, do I think we're going to see them this episode? No, I don't. I think it's going to be episode three that we see him. Uh, and uh, will he be given back to them in episode three? Probably not. Uh, to be fully honest with you, probably not. When he visits Alexandria, he's probably not going to bring Daryl with them. Uh, he might, you know, just uh, just to kind of show him, oh, he's okay, you know, uh, he's he's all right. But I didn't think Negan would even do that. I, I think he would want to keep Rick guessing, honestly. Uh, that That's the way I sense Negan um, doing that. But I do think Daryl's going to return to the group. I just feel like it's going to be a while. Uh, I do. I feel like maybe mid-season we could see him escape. Like, it's going to be a while. I, I do feel like so. <coughs> because... You have to remember, uh, in the promo, we see scenes from the hilltop, uh, so that's going to take up time. We see that there, there's probably an entire episode with Tara and Heath, uh, so that's going to take up an episode, too. So there's going to be a lot of mixing around, but it's going to be cool, and uh, I'm really excited for this season. So, in terms of Daryl, I think he'll be fine. Uh, I think uh, fans are just kind of worried because he's a fan favorite. Everybody likes Daryl, uh, and uh, yeah. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. So, uh, if they, if I'm wrong and they end up killing him, <laughs> I'd lose it. But no, I don't think they will because they just killed off, like, the third main character of the show. And then another one of the biggest characters, uh, Abraham. So, it, it's just, it, it wouldn't happen. They are, I think they've, they've proved their point that they had the guts to kill whoever they want, uh, aside from Rick. And I don't think they have the guts to go kill Daryl either. So, yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, please sum it up if you wouldn't mind, and you could also, uh, share if you wouldn't mind, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.